serve and they live. Disobey, and I will open their throats and leave their corpses to prune in the sun. They took his wife and child captive. They? Who's they? The killers. They told him to obey or they'd kill his family. A map. The glyphs show places he visited. Looks like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me in the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus, it's the same? The device is the same, but somehow Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances and see through each other's focuses too, like looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you, through Olin. Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that, but the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Red Ridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Redridge Pass, you said. I'll see what I can do. smelled before. Is that some kind of space? Hmm. You're an outlander. Nora from the look of you. I bet you're a machine hunter, too. I've hunted my share. Well, let me give you a word of advice. Don't bother with the hunter's lodge. If you're not Karja, you'll never rise in the ranks. What's wrong with the hunting lodge, exactly? Nothing, if you like stuck-up bigots. I'm known as a skilled hunter back home in Banur, so I thought I'd try my luck at the lodge. I thought it'd be simple. Hunt machines, gain ranks, see who's best. But it doesn't work like that at all. It's all rigged to keep the Karja at the head of the line. 
I don't need those snobs to tell me I can hunt. I'm going home. Are you saying that you have to be Karja to join the Lodge? No, they take other tribes. But they have rules in place to keep outlanders from gaining ranks. When Sun King Avad took over, he promised the new day, Meridian, open to all. But it's a sham. Sure, you can get a seat at the feast, but you just can't eat the food. Sounds like someone needs to shank things up at the lodge. Side to go. Be sure to give them a good old fashioned Banuk farewell mark in my honor. A Banuk farewell mark? What's that? Piss on the floor. Preferably someplace they won't find it until it gets nice and sour. What did you want to discuss? You're an outlander, which is good, but a Nora, which might be bad. Do you fear the ruins of the Old Ones like many in your tribe? No, although some can be dangerous. Then you may have come across what I seek. In your travels, have you found strange vessels emblazoned with symbols of the Old Ones? They consist of a hollow cylinder with a crescent handle affixed at both ends. If you bring me these vessels in sets of four, I will gladly trade what I have for them. What sort of ritual were these vessels made for? I'm convinced they were used in conjunction with each other in sets. Some people believe they were used for tea ceremonies. Others think they held sacred essences and oils for worship. But I believe they were used for the solemn custom of shaving one's beard. One for water, one for lotion, and so on. Each fluid in its special vessel, majestically applied to the face at each stage of the rite. It must have been breathtaking. But which vessel was used for which? I have to know. I have to continue my research. Are you sure people didn't just drink out of them? Drink? Out of such finely crafted earthenware? Don't be ridiculous. So you're interested in the old ones? More than interested. I study every ancient artifact I can get my hands on. But years of study have made me too comfortable at my desk. I can't even bear the sun if the truth be known. I don't know how I'll manage to take a partner. My family presses me for an heir. Uh, don't look at me. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm not. I wish I had a brother to carry this burden. Yes, yes. Trade quickly. I have... I will leave you to... Mm, yes, you look capable. Y you might do... Come here, if you will. Vanguard has been crowing about. The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. Only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway.
Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape, and listen. All I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. Nora. I'm the mournful Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In grief. You hold yours close, like a talisman. Wait, forgive me. We didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sunring? Oh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Well, I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander, then I would owe you very much indeed. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices, not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. And while Meridian holds his breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. Uh, what kind of obstacles? The first pilgrim is an Asaram, who seeks to visit the Shrine of Kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moths gather. The shrine was built there to ward off the machines, and its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb. Call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Flinthawks perch there, drawn to the spire's shining. So clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. Naman, rituals and prayers can't bring back those who are lost. No, but it can help those who grieve to find themselves. It can lend them strength and hope, like a new sunrise. I didn't think your priesthood would act- If only the sun would set on our pride. Until this is- Now our hoods make us blind. We whisper reconciliation, but forget- The killing. You mean the re- Yes. Why did the priests go along with all- Sometimes we Karja are more concerned with what is to- Huh. You're disappointed with the Sun Priests, but you still wanted to be- I spent my whole life looking up to the temple. Even he couldn't turn me away, and how he said, when we were loved- How so? Our robes are handed down to us. 
Most of the old Preakness so will be left to wear their sins. For me... Where is your brother now? He waits for me on the trail of the sun. I... He spoke out against the sacrifices. For... You lost someone you loved too? No. Not lost. When I took on... I'll do what I... To honor their memories? You're looking for artifacts. Yes, but I'm no profiteer. Sun King Avai, I work on their behalf. Looking for sake, I'm especially interested in wooden figures. If you have any, I have value. Tell me more about these simple wood sculptures made by Arnak. He left the figures near painted stones in places that remind. Now they see him as a kind of including trade for them. You said the king. Yes. I've been to Ban- Some say there are mysterious people, but there doesn't matter if you're born high or low. I see the appeal. I wish more Karja did. You ready? The Banuqu- Come on back. You there, Outlander? Do you have relics to trade? Adventurers, preferably with no friends. Oi there, Outlander. Name's Vilgund. Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your... Okay, stop there, if you want me to hear you out. I, I only meant a, a well-molded woman such as you. <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor. About a Banuk camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh, I hired men to investigate. To, uh, just investigate, that's all. Uh, those Banuk are canny, too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a son. What can you tell me about the Banuk women? They choose to live up there, and they prefer machines for company. Then they might not want outsiders to know. <laughs> They're mystic. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> this camp is... They say the Banu... If it's true... When you say value... Are you some... Mm, nope. But you send... <clears throat> Risky. All right. If I did look... You won't need to... And you look like you know your... If it's true... Payment on... Re need to win three half-sons at our hunting grounds to gain admittance to the lodge. You mean these? Very well, then. Congratulations, and welcome. Our members reap rewards and adventure and live on in legend. Am I a member now? No, you're only a fledgling. Junior members are called thrushes. To join and become a thrush, you need a senior member called a hawk to sponsor you. So I need to find a hawk. Yes, but a hawk can only sponsor one hunter at a time, and I'm afraid most of them already have one. I've overcome worse odds. Where do I start? Upstairs. Present yourself to the Sunhawk Assis, our leader. 
who should introduce you to a hawk. I hope it's worth it. What do you mean? You'll see. God's edict really is taking effect. Never thought I'd see a Nora here and a woman at that. So, you have marks for me? What do you mean? From the hunting grounds. Oh, right. You're new here. What edict? King Avad insisted that the Hunter's Lodge had to welcome everyone. Man, woman, outlander, regardless of tribe. Ursa, captain of the Vanguard, came in and delivered that news personally. You should have been there. It was glorious. But I figured they would sweep it under the rug and say no woman or outlander qualified. Yet yeah, here you are. Are you a member? Me? No. Karja don't exactly encourage their daughters to run around hunting machines. But all the changes in Meridian have been good to me. I don't think the Oseram know how to sell to us Karja. The trader I worked for last couldn't sell flowers to a bee. He was too plain hammer, as they like to say. This is a much better job. I figure I'll be able to open my own shop soon enough. What do you want with my marks? You hunters and your badges. I'm not going to take them. I'm going to give you a weapon that sets you apart. Yeah, I thought that'd get your attention. If you earn marks in all three trials at each of the five hunting grounds, come to me. I can give you up to three weapons, one for 15 half suns, one for 15 full suns, and one you'll love for all blazing suns. What do I do with these marks? If you get the same mark from all the hunting ground trials, see if you qualify for- I'm a little short on marks. No problem. Once you have marks from all 15 trials, you'll be able to get the next Hunter's Lodge weapon. What did you want to talk about? You were an outlander, no? Speaking of which, I wonder if you've come across a very special... Other blossoms grow around them in amazing patterns. These gleaming beauties are very much in demand among my clients. If you bring me some, I have valuables to trade for. You said you were... Just so. I'm... So what happened? Love ha... Is it... Of course. These metal flowers... What are they exactly? No one knows. But some say they began sprouting 20 years ago when the machines started to go mad. Perhaps they grow from the tears of the sun, for he has many faces, does he? Wrathful one day, cool and patient the next? Perhaps he weeps. Ah. Till we meet again. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, let's talk it over.
Would you like to give it another? I have to go. I'll be here if you decide.